For the fifth use case, we will look at customer acquisition, which is a critical component in many businesses. Customer acquisition means we are acquiring or gaining new customers. This is important as it fuels the sustainability of our business. And if we are not acquiring new customers, we need to find out ways or strategies so we do acquire new customers. For this particular use case, we want to visualize our new customer acquisition trend. If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. I will put up a link in the card above and description down below. In the second use case, we looked at cohort analysis, so let's bring up that calculated field. As a tip, we can also use this funnel right beside the search to be able to filter and show only calculated fields. So in here, let's show all of our calculated fields, and our cohort is right here. So right-click, Edit. For the previous use case, we wanted to know the first year of purchase, the first year that the customer has ordered from us. For this fifth use case, we don't want the year level. We actually want this at the day level. So let's create another calculated field that gives us the minimum date level. So create new calculated field. Let's call this first order date, first order date, and this is going to be fixed. We are going to fix this by customer ID, fixed customer ID. And this is going to be simply the minimum of the order date. And click OK. To visualize our acquisition trend, we can simply use this new calculated field. So let's right click and drag our first order date. And for now, we can start by using maybe the weekly level. This option will give us a time series chart or a time axis. So select that one, click on OK. And from here, we simply want to know the number of customers that were acquired for that specific week. So we can take our customer ID, right-click, drag, put that onto rows, and count distinct. Click OK. So this is our trend. And at first glance, it's not looking great because it looks like we have been acquiring consistently in 2018, maybe around 18 to about 20 customers, but it looks like it has dropped down once we start hitting 2019. So what this means from a business perspective is we need to change our strategy, up our strategy. Another variation we can do when we're visualizing this is we can also add on another table calculation that is the running total. So in this case, I'm simply going to duplicate our count distinct of order ID that is currently in our rows. So press control and drag it over to create a second copy. And for the second copy, we can add a quick table calculation. So in this case, quick table calculation, this is going to be a running total. So this is a different visual, but it gives us a similar story. We are acquiring customers more rapidly right around this point, and it starts to plateau. So which means we are actually not acquiring as many customers later on in our cycle. We can also start subdividing this and adding additional dimensions so that we have a better understanding if the trend is specifically for one group or if it's across the board. For example, if we wanted to see this by segment, so dragging segment onto color, we can see that the trend is fairly similar across different segments. Let's drag that out. Maybe let's take a look at region. So dragging it per region, going to color. And again, it gives us a similar story.